What up traders, what up investors, Ken here from the Dyslexia Investor and I started to slap my hands into the microphone and we are going to be looking at the Nikola Badger and more insightful looking at Nikola, the, again the stock we track here, they're opening up uh, their reserve, their uh, reservation form, whatever you want to call it, put your name on the piece of paper to potentially buy one of these sixty to $90,000 electronic hydrogen fuel cell vehicles that are completely, for my lack of better words, I'm skeptical on in the sense of uh, these are just all renders. So if you go through this whole site here again, this is the Nikola Motor site uh, on their products page. And these are again the same pictures that you see all throughout the internet. Uh, zero to 60 time in 2.9 seconds, that seems really, really fast. Uh, again, the, just to give you some kind of comparison, the all-wheel drive Tesla Cybertruck was looking at basically 4.5 seconds. Uh, that, that, so that's, this is, a, this, is not a, this is not a Model S or a Roadster. Uh, this, this is a huge, uh, huge truck. That being said, you can see here on the very, I like to say, basic uh, breakdown here uh, d again this is I'm just trying to build kind of a base knowledge for a lot of people and you can take it either way uh, if you want to do a completely negative or do ne a positive I don't know like I'll give you my what I'm looking at the stock and be my honest opinion from that and it can, you can take it or leave it or whatever that being said all these numbers to me don't really carry any weight due to the fact that this truck really doesn't exist really. It, we haven't seen it. Uh, they're saying that they're going to release it sometime in December, yet reservations are already opening up. Uh, with this video here that he just did, uh, the CEO of Nikola, uh, Trevor, uh, basically was talking about, oh yeah, the truck's great, it's going to be fantastic, it's going to come out in December and yeah we we'll, we'll take your deposit tomorrow uh, to go ahead and give us your money and then we can go like that's all fine said and done if you had something time to, re to reveal it uh, I don't know maybe I'm just in a different mindset I just can't understand on buying something I haven't seen yet I feel that little weird uh, a little it's a strange ask honestly for a company to ask someone to to purchase something they don't really know like I, I Again, this has happened before, but we're talking about a car here. This is We're not asking you to put down money on a new iPad or a new iPhone before you touch it and look at it. Uh, this is They're talking about a, a, a brand new thing of technology that is going to be potentially having hydrogen fuel cell on it, whatever. Like, I just seem a little strange. I'm going to link this video in the description below. Um, again, this is a snip from CNBC Fast Money. I always like the, the very end of it when you have the couple of the stock guys, especially this guy right here, he was like, bro, like th that's one heck of a salesman. That's all he said and just like he ended it. Anyways, I'll leave that in the description below. Definitely check that out. Um, again, like uh, for me, this is gonna be difficult uh, on the stock price. Uh, there are some S1 filings. Again, they also mentioned that in the video. The S1 filings is when previous earlier investors bought into the stock. So this could dilute the company if people want to get out. So this is going to be when people uh, want to ring the register, lack of better words. It's not clear on how many we're talking about because it hasn't been properly filed yet. We haven't seen that from the SEC to uh, for that regulation. So these are just some kind of obstacles in my way I'm just kind of helping uh, Nikola Motor continue going higher we'll be looking at the chart here in a second if you want to go ahead and jump to this chart I'll have the timestamps below but looking here at the Nikola Badger again still not fully uh, capable truck as they say there's not been really shown off there is no uh, steel ball thrown at the window uh, we all know that incident even though there hasn't been really a, a presentation of this uh, of any sorts and they in the interview as well with CNBC, uh, the guy was talking about that he's going to be revealing who they're building the truck with. So if you're following, again, a lot of the Nikola Motor stuff, they're doing it kind of the opposite of what Tesla's doing. Instead of doing a lot of everything, the manufacturing, building, and all this stuff in-house, they're, they're supplying chaining it out. They're outsourcing this. They're outsourcing the battery. They're outsour whatever. Like they're just doing different outsources on the overall manufacturing, and that comes down basically with their uh, Nikola TRE. Uh, this particular one is where they're partnering with someone, I believe in Germany, a manufacturer for the European truck that they are going to uh, help produce this uh, 
to continue, uh, again, using third parties to produce these trucks. These trucks. And then also, so this is a little skeptical to me, and I, I, I'm trying to be not trying to just uh, put cold water on someone's dreams and things like that, but this kind of reminds me of Theranos. Theranos really just promised the world uh, really didn't really open up to what they were doing. Again, this is the company, if you're not familiar with, who said they can take a single drop of blood and run about 200 tests on a small device called the Edison that is could is the size of a large bread box. Uh, I think if they have a picture, yeah, it's one of these guys. So this is like the thing that could run 200 plus blood tests. Again, this wasn't a very simple thing. Like they fooled millions, billions of dollars worth of investors um, within this. I'm not saying Nikola's on the same page as a wholly different industry, but I feel like that it, it's just strange to me, uh, being again my opinion that it's somewhat skeptical in the sense of are they really going to be able to do this? Like I, I understand this could be an early stage of the Tesla as well, but I, I like to see more uh, things first. Like, when it comes to everything that I do and in, in investing and things like that, I, I, talk is cheap. I want to see action. I know you're saying all these things, but let me see something. I want to touch something. I wanted that. Yeah. Anyways, that being said, that's enough ramping and raving uh, about the overall skepticism that I have for Nikola and definitely the Badger. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and just jump to the charts. Something that I knew very well about. Again, Nikola's chart is pretty incredible. Again, with that special, uh, the SPAC. Uh, transitioning into or who purchased Nikola Motors and now just trading under the ticker symbol NKLA. Of course, this has been just kind of completely gone off on, on a rocket ship, really holding the five and eight exponential moving average. We talked about this previously. Uh, again, this is going to be a very heavy momentum traded stock and trading up to basically $94 and then having the five and eight exponential moving average being the very heavy momentum driven moving averages. And again, close of Friday wasn't great to a lot of stocks in the overall market, basically being down nearly 11%. Looking for potential support around 58. Again, those reservations are coming out tomorrow on Monday the 29th. So we could potentially see uh, an uplift. I don't know, again, the CEO Trevor is saying a lot of things of how they're going to share all the reservations. They're going to be leaking some footage of the truck and things like that into the anticipation of Nikola's world in sometime in December. Yeah, take that with a grain of salt. So that being said, again, looking here at the chart, looking for the 58 to potentially hold if we want to continue have the uh, bull case to stay intact and start to rebound. But with JP Morgan giving out a press release of a price target of 45, which kind of puts in the line at the 34 exponential moving average, uh, being a little bit more on the skeptical side and more of the bear side for a lot of other people who are in the sense of driving down to the 34 price target could be uh, very likely in the sense of uh, sorry, very unlikely in the short term due to all the momentum it has had. And it's especially if the market overall rebounds tomorrow into Tuesday, we could see this ba back up to around 65 plus dollars. If again, that around the 58 to 59 price target holds. Um, that being said, anything can happen. Uh, you kind of see my alerts are pretty far spread across here between the 58 and 54. I kind of need this thing to move. I'm currently not even touching this with a 10 foot pole. This is just a very interesting story uh, in stock to follow in the sense of what's all going on. This is a very uh, new to me and especially using the example of Virgin Galactic where it was a SPAC uh, and then got bought out uh, uh, that special investment group bought out that particular company and now it's publicly traded. I understand that this is going to be very volatile, same with Virgin Galactic, but we kind of had that same FOMO mentality uh, in the run up of two or three months. And then after two or three months, it kind of just dwindled down and kind of rolled over to around 24, 25. That being said, uh, my best case and worst case uh, for the bears is potentially in the next, uh, on the run up to December, potentially 
kind of trading sideways, even going lower again to around the $46 price target uh, with the overall momentum. Because if they're opening up reservations already tomorrow, you're talking at least another seven or four or five months into December whenever they're having Nikola World uh, for people to get about this. And at that same time, we could have Tesla Cybertruck coming out, which is again, that's Cybertruck all-wheel drives around 50k, I believe. Uh, it's a very close competitor to that, and we actually have seen that on the road. Uh, Elon's driving around LA with it. Uh, it, it. It's a physical thing that we've seen and could touch. You saw the bit with Jay Leno driving around. Yes, it's still a uh, concept, but there it's a concept with Tesla that they really wanted to uh, make it fantastic. That being said, the, again, the worst case, coming back down to 24, 30 dollars. Uh, and again, if you're completely bullish, which is hard for me to really honestly say that with a lot of the, the things that I'm hearing about, just not just the fundamental stuff, but just my honest uh, opinion on the stock, it just has been run up so much due to a lot of the uh, novice investors really just buying into it. Uh, and that once you hear a lot of S1 filings could be coming up, this could be uh, diluting a lot of stock here and then the price would fall with that. Again, that being said, if it starts holding that uh, 58 and continue to try, try to build back up to break, break a break above the $80 price target, then the bears or the bears have lost in the short term again. Um, again, this stock is going to be super volatile just due to the fact of people who they let people love it or they hate it. Like it's 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 really strange kind of scenario. Uh, again, haven't really seen this since uh, the overall. Tesla days until they really proved the bread and butter of they're able to make that affordable Model 3. Like again, they they went through multiple iterations on that as well. So they took a lot of flack for many years uh, before they actually got the uh, pat on the back from a lot of the larger banks uh, and investment firms. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a live stream tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we also have a link down below for the Discord. You can join that. It's completely free. also have a link to the Patreon page to help support the channel directly. And that's about it, guys. Hopefully to see you guys in the live stream. This is Ken from the Dyslexic Investor, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.